Hi, Jay Fallon. Thank you for listening to The Slippery Slope. So I'm going to talk about, well, some very, in my mind, some pretty freaky uh, futuristic things which are coming hurtling towards us. It's not so futuristic anymore. I'm going to share this video with you. I'm going to watch, going to try something a little different this time. I'm going to watch the video from beginning to end. I'm going to comment on it after, at the end of the video. Really want your comments. Let me know what you think about this video, what you think about the, the content in this video. Personally, I don't think uh, I don't think this is the way our society should be going. I think it's a little freaky. I think it's uh, stupid. I don't think it's wise at all. And uh, I think there's a big difference between knowing something, being able to do something, and having the wisdom to do something. Just because you can do something doesn't mean you should, doesn't mean it is the wisest thing to do. However, that's not the society we live in anymore, is it? Like I said, we'll watch this video or comments after the end. Let me know what you think. Introducing Ectolife, the world's first artificial womb facility powered entirely by renewable energy. Ectolife allows infertile couple to conceive a baby and become the true biological parents of their own offspring. It's a perfect solution for women who had their uterus surgically removed due to cancer or other complications. With Ectolife, premature births and C-sections will be a thing of the past. Ectolife is designed to help countries that are suffering from severe population decline, including Japan, Bulgaria, South Korea, and many others. The facility features 75 highly equipped labs. Each state-of-the-art lab can accommodate up to 400 growth pods or artificial wombs. Every pod is designed to replicate the exact conditions that exist inside the mother's uterus. A single building can incubate up to 30,000 lab-grown babies per year. Looks like a straight Ecto out of the matrix. allows your baby to develop in an infection-free environment. The pods are made of materials that prevent germs from sticking to their surfaces. Every growth pod features sensors that can monitor your baby's vital signs, including heartbeat, temperature, blood pressure, breathing rate, and oxygen saturation. The artificial intelligence-based system also monitors the physical features of your baby and reports any potential genetic abnormalities. The pods are equipped with a screen that displays real-time data on the developmental progress of your baby. These data are sent directly to your phone so you can track your baby's health from the comfort of your zone. The app also provides you with a high-resolution live view of your baby's development. A special section in the app allows you to watch a time-lapse of your baby's growth and share it directly with your loved ones. Matrix. Because babies can recognize language and learn new words while still in the womb, Ectolife growth pods feature internal speakers that play a wide range of words and music to your baby. Through the app, you can choose the playlist that your baby listens to. You can also directly sing to your baby and make them familiar with your voice before birth. Our goal is to provide you with an intelligent offspring that truly reflects your smart choices. Ectolife improves your bonding experience with your baby thanks to a 360 degrees camera that's fitted inside your baby's growth pod you can use your virtual reality headset to explore what it's like to be in your baby's place see what they see and hear what they hear using a wireless haptic suit connected to your baby's growth pod you will be able to sense their kicks in the womb and share this experience with your friends and family members With Ectolife, your baby will receive the best nutrients that can support their growth. Each group of pods is connected to two central bioreactors. The first bioreactor contains nutrients and oxygen, which are supplied to your baby through an artificial umbilical cord. 
This bioreactor also contains a liquid solution that serves as the ambiotic fluid that surrounds babies in the mother's uterus. It's rich of vital hormones, growth factors, and antibodies that sustain your baby's growth and development. Thanks to a system controlled by artificial intelligence, each baby receives custom nutrients tailored to their needs. The second bioreactor is designed to eliminate any waste products produced by the babies. The artificial umbilical cord helps the babies to release their waste products into the second bioreactor. With the help of a delicate layer of engineered enzymes, the second bioreactor can then recycle waste products and turn them back into useful nutrients. This way, the facility ensures a steady and sustainable supply of fresh nutrients to your baby. With Ectolife, miscarriage and low sperm count are a thing of the past. Prior to placing the fertilized embryo of your baby inside the growth pod, in vitro fertilization is used to create and select the most viable and genetically superior embryo, giving your baby a chance to develop without any biological hurdles. And if you want your baby to stand out and have a brighter future, our Elite Package offers you the opportunity to genetically engineer the embryo before implanting it into the artificial womb. Thanks to CRISPR-Cas9 gene editing tool, you can edit any trait of your baby through a wide range of over 300 genes. By genetically engineering a set of genes, the Elite Package allows you to customize your baby's eye color, hair color, skin tone, physical strength, height, and level of intelligence. It also allows you to fix any inherited genetic diseases that are part of your family history so that your baby and their offspring will live a healthy, comfortable life free of genetic diseases. Say goodbye to the pain of childbirth and birth-related muscle contractions. Ectolife provides you a safe, pain-free alternative that helps you deliver your baby without stress. The delivery process is smooth, convenient, and can be done with just a push of a button. After discharging the amniotic fluid from the artificial womb, you will be able to easily remove your baby from the growth pod. Everything is perfectly designed so you and your partner can enjoy the delivery process. To ensure full transparency, our post-delivery free DNA paternity test helps you confirm the genetic identity of your baby so you can return home knowing that your baby is genetically yours. You don't have to worry about power cuts or carbon footprint. Ectolife uses highly efficient, clean, renewable energy consisting of solar and wind power. The highly advanced pods operate with minimal energy needs, making it easy for your baby to make it to full term without any complications. And for those who want a more convenient solution, Ectolife is made accessible so your life can be easier. Thanks to our miniaturized bioreactors and long lasting batteries, you can use Ectolife growth pods at the comfort of your home allowing you to incubate your baby in your building without the need to visit our factory. By owning your special growth pod, you will have the ability to build a happy family, one baby at a time, away from any birth complications. The concept of Ectolife facility was designed by biotechnologist and science communicator Hashim al it relies on groundbreaking research work that has been conducted by scientists and engineers since 1950s. Tired of waiting for a response from an adoption agency? Unable to find a suitable surrogate mother? Worried about pregnancy complications? Worry no more, because Ectolife got you covered. Ectolife, reinventing evolution. Ectolife, reinventing evolution. Does anyone else think that that guy there who probably, who supposedly came up with the concept 
uh, Amal or whatever his name was, didn't he look a little too perfect? I, I don't even believe, I do not believe for a second that, that is a real person. I think that's an AI generated photo, picture, whatever you want to call it. Anyway, what do you think? <laughs> that, that is some, that is some just absolutely weird, very weird stuff right there. But listen, I, I, listen, I want to read something to you. The definition or the difference between wisdom and knowledge. So the primary difference, this is what it says on the uh, the, the interweb, says the primary difference between the two words, wisdom and knowledge, is that wisdom involves a healthy dose of perspective and the ability to make sound judgments, sound judgments about a subject, while knowledge is simply knowing. This is the issue that we've got here today. And with this, just because you know how to do something doesn't mean that you should. Let's go over what, I mean, for starters, that, that looked like something straight out of the matrix. All those children, you've got this facility where they can grow up to 30,000 babies, you know, or you can just have it sitting next to your bed because that's not creepy and do that. So the issues that I can see here is one, when it, when it comes to abortion, you've got this AI system monitoring your baby and the AI lets you know, hey, there's something not quite right with your baby, Okay. Well, it's like, oh, okay. So it's got a little, what, something. Maybe uh, it's got something wrong with their joints and they're going to have a little bit of, your your baby's going to grow up and feel a little bit of pain and discomfort in the early years. Well, that's all right. Look, we can just uh, flick the switch, get rid of the baby and just grow a new one. It's all, it's all good. I mean, abortion is easy enough to get as it is now. With this, all you're going to have to do is flick a switch, flush the baby, you know, it's just going to raise up a whole lot of other ethical issues. Secondly, who doesn't for a second think that this is going to lead to organ harvesting? For sure. They'll have a, some facility in some far part of China somewhere. Sorry to pick on the Chinese, but the Chinese government will allow it to happen, okay? They're already doing it anyway with organ harvesting. But, you know, it, it'll be sitting there and they'll be growing all these children Oh, you don't want that one? You you flick the switch because it's going to have a little issue. The AI, the AI has told you that it's going to have a little issue, so you want to start a new one. That's fine, and you think that you're going you've you've aborted the first one. That's fine. We'll just keep it. We're going to grow it because we're going to sell the organs. And speaking of the Matrix, like I said, it looks like something out of the Matrix. Remember in the Matrix that they are actually uh, reconstituting the people and feeding it back into the other people who are still alive basically turning them into cannibals really Th didn't that look like what they what they're going to end up doing there all the children that get aborted after they've harvested their organs I guarantee that's what they get they'll harvest organs after they've with what's left over their body they'll say well these nutrients it'll do, they're just nutrients now we can just feed it back into the other children and what else? The ethical dilemmas. I can't even start on how many ethical dilemmas, but hey, if you've got the elite, if you've got more money than the than the next door neighbor, you can buy the elite package. Well, there's nothing wrong with that, hey? No, nothing at all. What could what could possibly go wrong? I love the way it says, well, if you want your child to stand out, everyone wants the best for the child. Everyone. If you can afford to do this in the first place, you're not going to be going, well, I can't afford the elite package. I'll just take the second rate child. Now, that CRISPR system that they're talking about, I've already done an audio podcast speaking about that, speaking about the chimera that uh, they're already working on, especially over in China. But that CRISPR system, they can already change your uh, genomes, change your chromosomes and fix up problems in, in adults. So they can, that is not far-fetched at all. They can now do it where the unborn child, they can go in and change things around Okay, and change the color of their eyes, their hair. You can have your baby looking however you want your baby to look, your child. And make your child stand out from the crowd. Well, yeah, until everyone, everyone does the same thing. So it'll it'll just keep going and going. This is the whole, the slippery slope concept. This is feeding straight into that. Everyone will have this child. Well, well, well. The next door neighbor got their child. They made him, you know, six foot two, uh, you know, nice dark olive skin, but blue eyes, some blonde hair, and, you know, a, a really, really high IQ. 
So then the next door neighbor says, well, you know what? It'll be like Gattaca. You know, when they had the, the pianist there who had six six fingers, I believe, so that they could play a certain, they were basically manufactured so they could play a certain um, concert piece on the piano and you needed six fingers to do it. That's what you'll end up having. You'll have someone say, well, the next door neighbor made this six foot two blonde haired, dark skinned, blue eyed child who's super intelligent. I'll do exactly the same, but I'll make him, I'll make my child six foot five um, and give him six fingers and uh, and this super, super brilliance for music, and they'll be able to do this. And you won't have any creativity left because we'll just take all the creativity away and just manufacture it. Who else can see all these issues happening? We're going to have manufactured children, and it's not going to stop. As soon as they get over the ethical, moral dilemmas, they, they'll just do whatever they want manufacturing children just disposing of any child the minute the ai and who's monitoring the ai the minute the ai comes back and says oh your child there's a slight problem with your child hit the switch we'll start again just get rid of that one and organ harvesting there are so many issues with this problem like i said just because you can do something does not mean you should does not just because you have the knowledge to do something does not mean that it is wise to do it. Our modern society is going down a slippery slope towards hell. I believe that we are feeding straight into what the Bible describes uh, for the tribulation era that is fast coming upon us. Uh, that's just my opinion. Please let me know what you think. Do you think this is a good idea? I don't think it is at all. I don't think there's anything wise about it. I think it is absolute stupidity. But hey... Oh, and this is also going to feed straight into the trans delusion that's that's currently circulating all over. It's taking over the world at the moment, the trans delusion, you know, where where men suddenly decide, hey, I'm now a woman. You know, what's that Dylan Mulvaney? His life of the, he's, you know, entered girlhood, decided he became in, in anyway and put out all these videos day two of womanhood girlhood whatever it's going to feed straight into that delusion where the man the pretend woman will say well you know i'll just get the eggs out of the the trans man the woman that thinks they're a man i'll get her eggs and then i'll use my sperm because i am in reality still a man and but we'll have the baby over there in the little factory or growing next to us in the bed and um and you know I'll have my operation, get my junk cut off, and uh, I'll be a I'll be a woman, and call myself the mother, and I am the mother. This is feeding straight into that delusion. There is nothing wise about this. Just because you can do something doesn't mean you should. That's just my opinion. Please let me know what you think. I'm Jay Fallon. Thank you for listening to the slippery. It's very slippery. The slippery slope.